A very good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and TravelProfessionalNews.com, I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy day to join us today. We have a really special presentation for you today that I know you're going to enjoy. It's all about Travel Weekly's Cruise World 2019 and how you can unlock your potential at Cruise World 2019. We have a wonderful speaker for you today to tell you all about this fantastic event. Mary Pat Sullivan, CTC, President of Sullivan Marketing Advisors and Content Director of Travel Weekly Events. Mary Pat will be assisted by Melissa Cooper. And Mary Pat will tell you more about that when she begins her presentation. Before we get started, a reminder that we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. When Mary Pat is finished with her presentation, we'll get to as many questions as we can. Also, a reminder that 10 of our travel agent attendees will win a free registration to Cruise World 2019. So you'll all want to stick around to the end of the webinar and get more information about that. So now I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mary Pat so she can get started. Welcome, Mary Pat. It's always great to see you here. Thank you, Sandy. Always good to be here. I'm in one of my favorite places, as many of you may know. I love the travel professional community. I love the conversations that happen on the boards. I'm a faithful reader of Andy's publication, and I think you guys have one of the best environments in the industry, so we're really happy to be here and talk about something really near and dear to my heart, which is Cruise World. So. We're going to talk about the event, give you some feel for what happens at the event, what we're going to do this year that's different than in previous years if you've joined us before. Just get you motivated, and hopefully at the end of this uh, presentation, you'll decide to join us live at Cruise World. So Cruise World is November 13th to the 15th this year. Uh, the Exhibitor Showcase, where we have over 150 of your supplier partners and potential supplier partners on site, is November 14th. We have a one-day trade show that gets really, really active. It's a great way to go shopping for your business. All of our event is hosted at the Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is our team. Um, yes, there's a lot of women on our team, but we're hardworking women, I tell you. Um, this is our whole crew. You will meet all of these folks if you join us at Cruise World Live. And you might notice down there in the bottom row in the center is Joni. Many of you know Joni. She's one of the fearless leaders of the travel professional community and has been a part of this team since we started Cruise World. Joni and I have worked really closely together on the content. She's so valuable to me in determining the right subjects to tackle. She's a presenter and a moderator with us every year. And we're just so happy to always be working with her. And we've now brought Andy into the fold as a presenter as well. So Andy Ogg will be on our stage this year as well. Also on the top row in the second there is Melissa Cooper, who's our marketing associate. Just one of the hardest working people you're ever going to meet and has a lot more answers than I do. So Melissa is joining me on the line. So when we get to the Q&A, she can help us out. Melissa, do you want to say a quick hello from the Secaucus offices today? Hi, Mary Pat. Thanks for the nice shout out. <laughs> Glad to be joining Melissa you today. We're happy to have Melissa with us as one of our, our uh, gurus to answer some questions later. So this is our team. Here's the specifics, dates and location, November 13th to the 15th. But it's not just those days, folks. There are other opportunities around Cruise World as well. The Travel Corporation came in last year and did a, about a four-hour training the day prior to Cruise World, and it was sold out and was extremely successful. So they're coming back and joining us again this year on November 12th. Their brands will be on site with us. They're going to give you an opportunity to understand all of their brands, uh, the different products and services you can share with your customers. It's a really intense, um, in-depth look at the Travel Corporation brands. That will happen on the 12th, and it ends with some cocktails and appetizers uh, on Tuesday the 12th. Again, the Exhibitor Showcase is the 14th. And on the 16th and 17th, we offer ship inspections. We have the largest portfolio of ship inspections we have ever offered this year. Some great opportunities to see some ships that you have not had the chance to see or some ships that have been refurbished and redone and have some really new cool opportunities for your customers. Ship, ship, ship inspection requests are on a first come first serve basis so if there are ships you want to see I recommend you register as early as possible because many of them are selling out already. Again, Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention Center. Our housing block is at the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina and the Renaissance Fort Lauderdale Cruise Port Hotel, both of which are walking distance to the convention center, but we do also offer complimentary shuttles back and forth from these hotels to the convention center. And as Sandy mentioned, and thank you for that, Sandy, we will pick 10 winners from our live studio audience. Uh, we'll get the list of everybody that was here from the team at Travel Professional Community, and we will announce our winners tomorrow. 
I'll also ask Andy and, and Joni and the gang if they can post it in the boards for you guys as well. So we'll definitely pull 10 random winners, and it's quite an opportunity. It's it's over a $200 value to be uh, to get free registration for Cruise World. So good luck to all of you there. So let's talk about the education. The main pillar of Cruise World is education. So we're going to talk about what we offer for you here. As I mentioned, Travel Corporation is the first training session available, November 12th. These are the brands. If you didn't know all the brands within the Travel Corporation family, all of these brands will be in attendance. You'll get an opportunity to learn about each of the brands, the marketing opportunities they offer for you to help sell their products, the training programs they offer for you, the content, the travel, the travel options for your customers. Really intense and, and uh, in-depth look at the Travel Corporation. We have certification programs. Carnival Corporation is coming in on Wednesday to offer a program first time this year, a little different from what they offer throughout the rest of the week. Vax Vacation Assets and Triceps will be able to give you an update on all of the brands now incorporated into their system uh, on the, in the training session on Wednesday. And the Hawaiian Islands will come in and do their training. You will be certified. The first portion of the Hawaii certification program will be completed on site, so you'll be able to walk away with your Hawaiian Islands certification after the Wednesday program. Our supplier partners are phenomenal support to us. Each of these destinations and, and products that you see on the right, all of them have sessions already booked with us, so they will do one-hour training programs on Thursday. So Thursday is kind of our supplier shopping day. So on Thursday, you'll have sessions um, dedicated to each of these companies, and then you'll have the exhibitor showcase. So it's really focused specifically on the suppliers on Thursday. The Think Tank, which is Wednesday night, um, this is a really cool opportunity. It's something I've done with Joni, actually, Joni Og, since we launched this event. Um, the Think Tank is a chance for you guys to talk. Sandy's been with us many times at the Think Tank as well. Um, it's a chance for the agency community to share best practices, to share concerns and struggles they might have in, in their business that somebody else in the room might be able to answer. It's sponsored by Scenic, Luxury Cruises and Tours this year. So Scenic will be there, part of the conversation, part of the discussion, but it's a really good chance for all of you to talk to each other and learn from each other. TW Talks, something we launched last year at uh, maybe two years ago now at Cruise World. You'll hear from agency leadership and we have a different theme each year. They'll get up on stage and do eight-minute, very brief um, thought leadership presentations. And we had people crying in the audience last year. We had tremendous response to these sessions. Only eight minutes, but I promise they're thought-provoking, they're interesting, and often tend to be emotional as well. You'll also learn from your peers. Friday's training sessions at Cruise World are dedicated to peer-to-peer -to -peer training. These are a handful of the peers that will be on site to train. All of these folks are part of our team as well because they've been in Cruise World, been at Global Travel Marketplace, and all of them have had a seat on our Global Travel Marketplace Advisory Board. We know these agency owners very, very well. They're talented. They all have their own success stories to share, and they'll be sharing them on site. Many of you know Jeff Millar really well. He's very active in the travel professional community, and Jeff has been a part of our speaker roster since we launched Cruise World. Love working with Jeff. So all of these folks will be on site offering their own expertise and, and individual sessions on Friday. And Joni and Jeff, for the first time this year, we've added some content on Wednesday. So we're going to do a new to the industry session for folks that are still learning, trying to figure out exactly how to establish their businesses, their home-based businesses. And Joni and Jeff are training together. They're going to do a session that looks at how to build your home-based business and how to build a business plan once you have your home-based business established. So I'm so excited to have the two of them working together. And Andy Og will be joining us on Friday. Uh, Andy's going to do a session on email marketing, how to make it effective, do you know if it's working. Uh, great opportunity to review all of your communications with your customers through Andy's session that day. And, and Andy has a great presenter appeal. I'm telling you, he's great up on stage. So we're looking forward to those two sessions from our travel professional community gang. We also added new sessions this year on travel experience immersion. So on Wednesday, we will have these four different categories. The way this session works, you'll walk out of the general session on Wednesday and into one of these four sessions. There will be four or five suppliers in each session, cultural and culinary experiences, adventure and experiential travel, opportunities in luxury travel, and family and multi-gen experiences. So in those four rooms will be four or five suppliers up on stage giving their take on these topics and some time for discussion and Q&A with all of you. 
Here's our roster of ship inspections on Saturday and Sunday. So as you can see, quite a portfolio of ship inspections. And you'll see at the bottom here, um, Seaborne Sojourn is a star exclusive. So we do have one or two ship inspections that are offered only for our folks that have qualified for the STAR program. The STAR program uh, is sold out this year, but we, we can give you a little bit of a feel for it. Many of the folks in the travel professional community have, have applied and been accepted in the past. Um, this is an opportunity for us to support uh, attendance by some of our travel agency partners beginner through fully experienced travel professionals. We like to support the industry. So Travel Weekly sponsors those folks, um, their attendance, their hotel, and their registration. Uh, so the Seaborne Sojourn is exclusive and already sold out. But some of these are really filling up quickly. So if you see ships on here that you really want the opportunity to see, I recommend that you sign up for Cruise World quickly. Now, let's talk about engagement, your opportunity to get to know your colleagues and know the industry during Cruise World. Uh, this is an example of the kinds of exhibitors that are on site. This is not just a cruise show, folks. About 20-something percent of our attendees, are, uh, our exhibitors, are cruise companies. So you can see every portion of our industry represented. We have a lot of strength in the destination arena, quite a bit of strength in the hotel and resort arena. Every tour operator and wholesaler is there. So don't think that if you're coming here, you're only going to meet the cruise companies. You're going to meet everybody in the industry. This is the full breakdown. So as you can see, their cruise is 21%. Obviously, all of our cruise partners are there, but this is a big industry. So you can see the breakdown here. Professional services, are you looking for a website? Are you looking for travel insurance providers? Um, we have all different opportunities here uh, at Cruise World. These are our sponsors. Obviously, we cannot get through this event without the support of the industry. But this is important for you guys to know. These folks spend their money because they know how important you are to their business. All of them give us the opportunity to host this event because they need your business and they want your customers to be their customers as well. They want to share that experience with you. So we're really grateful to all of them. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of investment in your space here. And I don't want you to just take it from me. These are just a couple of testimonials. If you read these testimonials, you'll see what we've done here for folks is boost their business. That's what we're here to do. We want to help you grow your business. We want to help you expand your business. We want to help you feel stronger and more confident and have a, a broad network of support. So you can go on the Cruise World Show website and see even more testimonials. These are just two examples of, of folks who really found a solution by joining us at Cruise World. And Executive Insights. This is one of my favorite things about the event because I think it speaks so much to the value of the Travel Agency Channel and the travel advisor community. These are a handful of the presidents and CEOs already confirmed to be in attendance at Cruise World. Take a look at this, folks. These folks will all take the general session stage to talk to you because that's how important you are to their business. We have Orlando Ashford from Holland America, Mark Conroy from Silver Sea, Arnold Donald, CEO of Carnival Corporation, Christine Duffy, the president and CEO of Carnival Cruise Line, Richard Fain, the CEO of Royal Caribbean International, Lisa Ludoff Perlo, the the president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, Larry Pimentel, the president of As America Club, Club Cruises, and more, folks. There are more people still being added to this list. They all want to come and talk to you. It's a chance for you to tell your customers, hey, I just heard from the president of Carnival Cruise Lines. I just heard from the president and CEO of Holland America. It's a great opportunity for you to hear what their vision is for our industry. And of course, this is a fun session. This is, again, something I do with my friend Joni Og every year. First day of Cruise World, we've moved it. It used to be later, but it's just such a high-energy session that we've now put it on the first day of the event. Um, these are your trade advocates inside of all of these companies, all of them, executive and senior vice presidents within the cruise industry who are the, the folks that speak about you on a daily basis in every shareholder meeting, every corporate meeting. They know how important you are to their business. So this session is kind of fun and light and cheery and bright, but it's also a really good opportunity to get to know these folks who are your champions in the industry. So we look forward to seeing them every single year. And then there's just a chance to meet people and talk to people. The executives roam the, ex the exhibitor showcase. They roam around the show floor. They, they're they in the general session chatting with people, and it's a chance for you to get to know them, to get to ask questions of them, to get to understand them better. It's a really good opportunity to get access to not only the executives, but your peers as well. And then we have a little fun. This is a good industry. You have to have some fun, right? So entertainment. Royal Caribbean started a couple of years ago um, what has been an amazing treat for all of us. They brought Greece, 
um, they do a full rehearsal of, um, not a full, you can't watch the whole show, but they do a rehearsal of the uh, live events that are on their ships. And these are all Broadway performers. They came in and they brought the Grease team. Then last year they did Hairspray. And as Melissa, who's on the line, will attest, I stand up front and sing every single song. This is just so much fun to me. But what's even more of a fun opportunity is you're getting, thank you, Melissa, (laughs) you're getting to see the actual live entertainment that your customers will see. And you realize that this is Broadway caliber entertainment without a doubt. So a lot of fun for us every year. And then last year something crazy happened and Norwegian Cruise Line brought Pitbull, a private concert by Pitbull. We, they transformed the convention center. You can see that picture on the lower right. It was just magnificent. And Pitbull sang. For all a thousand of us, private show for the Cruise World attendees, it was amazing. So you never know what's going to happen at Cruise World. And so much more. We have contests. You see that lovely woman on the upper left-hand corner who won an MSC cruise during breakfast last year. You have someone collecting money in the Carnival uh, fun tank. We, We gave away prizes galore. You see we had a prices right session last year. People win phenomenal prizes from our general session stage and have a good time in the process. So we don't know. You never know what excitement will come this November. We're still adding to our program. We know our supplier partners who host the meal functions are pulling out all their stops, and we probably won't know until we get to November how much fun we're going to have, but I can guarantee you it'll be a lot of fun. And we eat. We make sure we feed you. It's important because you're working hard. So our sponsors offer Um, the lunch and and breakfast programs throughout the event, all of which are covered for all of you. Um, So Holland America is our first meal host. They host the opening lunch on Wednesday. And Orlando will be addressing the audience, Orlando Ashford, the president of Holland America. And then we have breakfast on Thursday morning with MSC Cruises. Last year they brought in the Miami Dolphins cheerleaders who they are partners with. They had We had a lot of fun and, and played a game and gave away some cruises. And they're hosting breakfast on Thursday morning. Lunch on Thursday is with Celebrity Cruises and Royal Caribbean. Also, always an amazing session. As you can see, Dondra in her red suit there, always a great crowd pleaser. We had hairspray last year. It's just, and the gentleman on the upper left is the head of entertainment for Royal Caribbean, who is our MC for the Royal Caribbean portion. Just a great session every year. Breakfast on Friday is hosted by Herta Gruten. Last year was their first year with us, and clearly they loved it because they're coming back again this year. If you're not at all familiar with their programs, you need to take a look at the product, the, the destinations and the visuals that he shared with us last year. Phenomenal. That gentleman there in the T-shirt and jeans is the CEO of Herta Gruten, and he'll be joining us again this year. Lunch with Norwegian Cruise Lines on Friday. Our closing lunch is hosted by Norwegian Cruise Lines. Camille will be back with us again this year, and Katina, her colleague, joining us as well. Uh, Andy will be there in the morning. We have the entire NCL team, and I give them credit because they have a ship, a brand-new ship that Kelly Clarkson was just announced as the godmother of, coming into port that day. So we're really lucky that they're making this work for all of us. There will be a lot of excitement around the Encore, which will be sailing in to Miami that afternoon. We're active on social media. We'd love for you to get active on social media. What we found is that so many people get to know each other before they come to Cruise World because they're talking on our social media platforms and they're making plans to meet up when they get down to Cruise World, and we'd love to see that. So please be active with us on our social media program. Uh, and Melissa is also, among her 8 million other things that she does, in charge of keeping this up to date. And so you will see constant new posts from Melissa on a regular basis in our social media. There's our Twitter and Instagram. And now, Sandy, I think I got through it quicker than I planned. I'm ready for questions. Okay. And I want to note to our agents, if you have questions about anything having to do with Cruise World, please type them in now in the question area. Um, One of our agents wants to know, you said that the STAR program is already sold out. Where can she get information about the STAR program looking ahead to 2020? Sure. So if you take a look, if you go on the cruiseworldshow.com website, and take a look. The star, um, there's a, a drop down for star. And just so that everybody understands, this is um, it's something we felt it was very important to launch. And we had tremendous number of applications this year. So even folks who've been with us in the past didn't get in this year because the, we like to share the wealth. You know, we like to let other people have an opportunity. So it's been a um, a challenge for us to make sure that we. Uh, share this opportunity with as many of the travel advisors as possible. We took, I want to say, 250 stars this year. So um, 
we are really supporting the industry as best we can. But please take a look at it, consider applying for next year, and hopefully maybe you'll win the registration this year and you can come join us this year. Melissa, anything I missed on the STAR program? The information is still up on the website, right? Yes, it is still up on the website. Um, the application is closed and we'll usually open it um, in winter of uh, the next year. So look around for February, March if you're looking to apply for next year. Okay. Um, ladies, is this Cruise World show always in Fort Lauderdale or does it move around? Oh, that's a really good question. It has always been in Fort Lauderdale. Um, things may change in the coming year because the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center will be under construction, but we don't have all the official announcements out yet. But look for some news from us. Um, it has been every single year in Fort Lauderdale, but um, things may change for the coming year. We'll give you some details as soon as we know. Okay, great. And are there any sponsored dinner functions? Another great question. We have not in the past um, until last year. Last year when uh, Norwegian Cruise Line decided to do the Pit Bull concert, there was dinner included in that. You never know. There may be uh, new things added this year. As of now, the Think Tank, which is on Wednesday night, includes just some snacks and some cocktails. But usually we leave dinner open to folks to be able to it's a, they're exhausting days, so many folks just want to have a cocktail and a quick snack and go to bed and rest up for the next day. So we don't usually have big dinner functions, but you never know. There's always the possibility of things being added. Right now, it's mostly breakfast and lunch. Okay, um, that's it for questions. I just want to add that um, it, it is a, a fabulous show. I've been to, I think, all of them. And one of the main attractions to home-based agents, of which there are many on the line, is that uh, we tend to sometimes feel isolated working from home on our own. And Cruise World is a fabulous opportunity to network, to get to know other agents, to get to know the suppliers and the BDMs you may have been speaking to. And it makes a difference when you speak to them after you've met them because they can then picture you and remember your conversation. So in addition to all the amazing education and um, trade show and, and um, networking opportunities, just getting out and being able to speak to people and saying, you know, what has worked for you, what hasn't worked and whatnot makes a huge difference to uh, home-based agents who may not have that opportunity in their everyday life. So just want yeah, to I appreciate you saying that, Sandy, because I think it's also interesting, many of you may not even think of it this way, but so many of the suppliers that we work with are in the same environment. I work from home, many of the BDMs work from home, and these events are a chance for us all to be out and kind of kickstart our, you know, you get yourself a little bit of excitement and, and a camaraderie, you know, and so I think all of us feel the same way, and we forget sometimes that Many of the BDMs work from home, too, and, and I work from home, and it's it's not uncommon anymore, but it really feels good to be with like-minded people and kind of get your energy level up and going. So thank you, Sandy. For Absolutely. That. Uh, we don't have any more questions at the moment. If uh, you think of something after this webinar is over, you can contact uh, Mary Pat or her team. Oh, wait, there's something different on the uh, yep. screen now. <laughs> I'm, I'm realizing, Sandy, before we close that it's important for me to put up on the screen the, the there is a discount code only for our HBTA partners, our travel professional community partners. So the discount code is HBTA. If you type that in when you're doing your registration, you'll get a $25 uh, discount. Uh, and we always are so thrilled to support our um, travel professional community partners. And I'm realizing also, Sandy, that I need to put up the contact information so that anybody that might want to contact us to get more information, here's an email for registration, here's Emmy. If any of you know of a supplier that you don't see on our supplier roster that you want to be at Cruise World, let Emmy know and she'll go get them. So um, she's a tiger. She'll get everybody in. And Jen Cruzy, who manages our STAR program. So Jen was going to be with us today, but the STAR program sold out, so we let Jen go to Disney instead. <laughs> but here's the contact information for all of you, all of us, in case you want to reach out to us directly. And we do have one more question. Will there be any presentations from Virgin Voyages? Excellent question. Virgin Voyages is, in fact, confirmed to join us at Cruise World. Oh, wow. And I do believe, yes, they. Um, I do believe they will be part of one of our presentations. I don't have all the details yet, but they are absolutely joining us at Cruise World this year. Um, we're excited about that. It will be their debut at Cruise World. That's fantastic. Whoop. And we're getting thank yous for all the information written in there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And the um, 
The prize, uh, um, random prize drawings will happen offline and uh, we will be able to publish the winners on the travel professional community. So keep an eye out for that. This has been wonderful as always. I wanna thank our sponsor, Travel Weekly's Cruise World 2019 and our wonderful speakers, Mary Pat Sullivan, CTC and Melissa Cooper. Thank you ladies so much. Thank, Thank you. you, and thanks to everybody for being here. I'll Hope to my... see you at Cruise World. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add my thank you to everybody. Thanks for taking time out of your day to be here, and I hope to see you at Cruise World as well. Identify yourself to me <laughs> so I can see who you are. Um, so enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.